Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel uh, Data Making. Uh, this is going to be a part of our video series uh, free Apache Spark and Hadoop uh, virtual machine uh, setup. Okay, so in this video we are going to see how we can actually uh, access the uh, uh, IntelliJ IDE, IntelliJ, uh, IntelliJ uh, Community Edition which already installed on this uh, free virtual machine. Uh, how do you open the virtual machine? Where it is? The, how do you open the virtual machine? And uh, how do you uh, open our uh, IntelliJ IDE? And build a SPT based Scala project, which which will have the Spark code. Okay, so if you want to access the virtual machine or you don't get that, you didn't get the Excel uh, virtual machine, please uh, uh, log on to the uh, the www.sparkexample.com and uh, you go to the contact uh, uh, form and you can just send this request. So we'll send you the link of uh, free virtual machine. Okay, uh, okay, friends. So let's uh, uh, move on to this. Uh, topic okay so if we minimize the recording window so basically we are going to uh, uh, log on to the virtual machine and uh, open the IntelliJ IDE and write uh, uh, the SBD based Scala project okay now uh, let me log on to the virtual machine I already logged into the virtual machine so uh, so the password uh, user ID password for this virtual machine is uh, a password user ID is data making and the password is also data making okay so First time when you log in, it will just not it will not ask you the password. It will just directly log in. So further uh, after when you uh, probably log uh, log in again, if it is locked, then it will ask you the password. Okay. So uh, where this PyCharm ID is uh, installed, uh, Py sorry IntelliJ ID is installed is. So uh, in the home folder, I have a folder called uh, uh, Data Making Work Area. So inside the Data Making Work Area, I have a Softwares folder. So inside the software folders, so uh, you see this, uh, there is a folder called idea uh, iPhone IC iPhone uh, 192.71.42.36. Okay, so just go to this, uh, open a terminal, go to this location. So it's data making work area, software's uh, uh, idea, okay, idea, right? So it's, uh, yeah, small case, idea. So we are here, just go to the, so you can open it like uh, bin slash uh, uh, idea.sh okay so if you open this file so it will open the so the idea uh, intellij idea um, uh, uh, community edition okay so when you when you are launching for first time it will uh, it will take some time to uh, uh, open this okay so <coughs> so once this is open so probably you can just start creating the uh, the the SPT based Scala project, so you can write a simple Scala project also just to uh, do hands on on uh, um, Scala programming language. Or once you are familiar with Scala uh, programs or Scala syntax and uh, other concepts, then you can start uh, um, exploring the uh, the Spark code with the Scala API. Okay, so yeah, let me tell you how to create it. Okay, so it is uh, already I have uh, so uh, the project which is set up here. So let me just tell you if it is not there, just uh, oh, actually this, this in your VM, it's a fresh uh, uh, IntelliJ installation. I just open this and uh, probably uh, go to the uh, create new project. Okay, once the uh, it is a little slow. Uh, it's, let's get opened. I just passed because it is uh, long opening very slowly. Okay, so uh, now it is this. Uh, this has come. So you just choose Scala here and SBD uh, SBD as a uh, build tool here and say next. Okay, so it will going to launch the next window where next window where you can provide the uh, project name okay so i'll just uh, give the project name as uh, first scala applications first uh, first is you can say scala or spark project i'll just uh, spark scala project okay so scala project okay 
you just give and you can choose the version uh, so uh, uh, i installed a uh, java version uh, uh, java version 1.8.0 I underscore 231 this is a JDK version okay so now you can just choose the SBT version uh, uh, whatever version you want to choose and the uh, Scala version basically I install Scala 12.12.12.8 uh, uh, 12 so you can just choose that uh, the required uh, version of the software or the programming language you can just say finish so it will just uh, start create uh, uh, setting up the projects for you uh, the Scala project. So basically, you will have uh, uh, one uh, uh, in the once project to open. So you will have a build.spt uh, file. So there we need to actually provide the dependency for uh, writing your uh, Spark code. Okay, so because this is I'm going to create this project for uh, Spark writing a Spark code. So we need to add the dependencies. So where you add the dependencies, you need to add it in the uh, uh, the build dot uh, uh, sbt file okay so it is opening very slowly because uh, my um, my vm is open for long time so it is taking a little time okay so go to the uh, project explorer setup it will take uh, like to just this uh, uh, initialize everything it takes some time let me pin him, uh, pause this video for some time okay so uh, so it is almost uh, uh, the the project is uh, got configured now you can actually go to this uh, build.spt file okay so in this project in this file we are going to paste the uh, you're going to have the uh, the dependencies so you can just if you want you can just change the version i just make it as uh, 1.0 and uh, you need to actually have the dependency for spark so this this one line where it is going to download our uh, all spark core and spark uh, sql uh, related uh, libraries for uh, and even spark streaming okay everything every everything is uh, put in this uh, one dependency basically all this from spark 2.0 everything is clubbed in the uh, <coughs> your uh, spark sql uh, uh, the group id the artifact id is uh, uh, org dot apache dot spark okay so now once you add this into uh, the dependency file you just go to the uh, sbt uh, tab and you can just uh, do uh, the refresh project so it will start uh, uh, downloading your dependency for spark so again it will take some time so i'll just pass on this video for uh, a minute okay so this uh, uh, the dependency is already it is downloaded okay now we can go and create the uh, scala file and you can execute our uh, you can put some uh, sample spark code and you can um, just run it okay i just right click on this expand this uh, project and expand this uh, sorry let me miss this okay so uh, expand this project uh, uh, folder and uh, navigate to this uh, uh, SRC for navigate this is yes. oh, expand this SRC folder main and go to this Scala and then right click and go to this uh, new and say Scala class and inside the Scala class I'll just uh, create a uh, um, Scala object so that uh, I don't need to create an object and uh, create the uh, class for it okay so uh, means I need to, don't need to create a uh, object for this class and execute our code basically you can have a main method and just execute the code so create uh, uh, first spark app one first spark app one okay so i'll just create this uh, file so once this create this file i just have the sample code i'll just run and show you So copy paste this sample code here. This is very simple code only. So, uh, so what I am doing is here. Uh, uh, so 
this is the uh, package uh, i'm actually defining like uh, com dot data making dot spark example and this is the uh, i'm going to create a simple uh, spark session object and create some sample rdd and uh, just show you how it works okay so this is the uh, object class uh, then we have a main method inside the main method we are going to create a spark session object once you create a spark session object you can just set the uh, log level as error just to avoid the uh, app log sorry info logs uh, just i'm creating a list okay so it's a, a scala list which contains the string value and i'm going to uh, convert this to rtd using a parallelize method and uh, uh, iterate uh, each uh, elements in this rtd using a map transformation and uh, uh, just passing the anonymous function which iterates uh, each value and uh, uh, just changes to uppercase and just i'm um, using a, a collect method to uh, collect is the rdd uh, action operation and then uh, using the for each and print ln uh, you're just printing the values from after the changing to uppercase just uh, uh, just uh, if you want actually uh, x, x, if you want to understand more details about uh, this code you can actually watch my uh, play playlist which is uh, uh, spark apache spark 101 tutorial where i explained each and every line uh, in detail because i just want to keep this video for how to access this uh, intellij id and build the spark application in the free vm that's the agenda of this video okay so let me run this program uh, it's getting stuck a little bit or uh, i'll just go to the run and say run okay so so it is going to start executing our uh, project I don't know why it is so slow. Okay, let me uh, let me let me, me still, uh, pause. It was taking some time because first time I'm building this uh, project, running the code now, so it is my VM also a little slow. Uh, so I request you to uh, provide uh, uh, some more than uh, uh, four GB for your uh, uh, VM. Uh, actually, uh, I given. Uh, I'm running many application in my host, host laptop itself. So basically, and I, I allocated for 8 GB to this VM. Still a little slow because I'm running many applications here. In the host VM itself, uh, there are a lot of softwares which is running. And uh, this VM also, I just uh, um, running for different uh, components. Probably you can just, if you the, whichever the component you are not using it, you can just go and stop it. So every uh, components I prepared a video how to stop and how to start the each component. Okay, so it has run this program. So it has just taken this uh, all the values in the list and it converted into uppercase and it printed. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Probably what we did is uh, we just log into this VM and we know what is the location of uh, uh, the uh, IntelliJ ID. We just open the ID and build the build the simple SBT based. Uh, scala project for running writing your spark code and we executed okay so please you can watch my other videos uh, uh, in my uh, channel and my playlist uh, provide your feedback in the comment section of each video thank you so much friends see you in the next video